cult has stolen my baby. 19 Nocturne Boulevard. Nocturne Boulevard? Not far. When you hit Howard, hang a right. Howard meets Philip at a weird kind of angle. Then you cross James and Paul. You can't miss Nocturne. It's just past the Ottoman. 19 Nocturne Boulevard. Your address for suspenseful stories of the speculative, strange, and supernatural. Tonight's story is... Cultists Stole My Baby. Yes? This is 19 Nocturne Boulevard. Won't you step inside? Did you have any trouble finding it? What do you mean, what kind of a place is it? Why, it's a newspaper bullpen, can't you tell? This is where the real news happens. Uh, we can't actually do anything about that unless Elvis actually spoke to you. Oh, oh, he did? Well, can your dog verify that? Right, I got that. But the beans, you have to eat them raw for the diet to work? Isn't that kind of crunchy? Do you have any pictures? Was the alien wearing the leather bunny suit while it was impregnating you? How do you know the poster was placed on your fridge by aliens? Hello? Boss? Come on in. Cool! Hey, I'm super excited to have this chance to... Save it. I'm not the guy. Chief will be back in a moment. Oh! Well, I'm Theo. Whatever you do, don't stare. Stare? All right. Now oh, you're here. Good. Um, yeah. I'm so excited to have this chance to... Save it. I got your resume. Right, Theo, uh, Theo, uh... Walsh? You don't sound all that sure. Not a bad name, though kind of normal. How about we give you a nickname? Flash! No, that don't work with Walsh. Zip? I'll see what fits. What's the job? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Theo Walsh with journalism degree from West Podunk Community College. Meet Leona Pope. She'll keep you from hurting yourself or making the bugle liable. Mostly, I'll just take your photos. So, what are we going to be working on? Theo. Leona. EO. There you go. You're the EO team now. No, no, even better. Team EO. Whatever. All business, eh, doll? Right then. Look, Theo, my family has run this magazine for three generations. Oh, yes, I know. <sighs> Noob. This newspaper brings the most cutting-edge stories to life every week. You actually believe that? Shut it! Go on! Well, I've followed the World Bugle for years, and I do realize that a lot of the material in here is puff or straight-out made-up stuff. What? No, no, uh, let me explain. I understand completely. To be able to print the hard, cold truth about the really controversial topics, like UFOs and the paranormal, you have to fill in the bulk of the magazine with implausibilities, just so the real truth only reaches the people who already understand. Uh, yeah, something like that. <laughs> anyway... I've got a sauna in massage, followed by a mani-pedi at noon. So let's get you moving. I got an informant in room three. Have fun. I'm so excited about this. Come on. Yeah, Sergey. Oh, yeah, that sounds real nice. Left. What, what did you mean, don't stare? At the chief. He looks just like any other big newspaper editor. You missed it? You mean the comb-over in 5 o'clock shadow? The mole. The flabby man boobs. Woman boobs. Oh. After you. You're the reporter. You go first. Always. <laughs> you make that sound like a bad thing. I've been in the biz for 20 years, and I've been teamed up 73 times. You do the math. Oh. Hello, um, I'm Theo. Wink. What? Trying out nicknames. Not right now. Hello? Yes, sorry. I'm Theo. This is Leona. Is it safe here? Um... Yeah. So, you have a story for us? Yes. <laughs> but there's a life at stake. Really? My baby. Oh, here. They took him. Aliens? No. Worse. 
Scientologists? Oh, please. Cultists? Other cultists? Yes. Are you... Um, is there another reporter I can talk to? Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure I get my facts straight. Straight. Arrow. Shooter. What? Nothing, but I think you got your first headline right there. I do? Cultists stole my baby. Did you say his first? So Team EO made their way to the lair of the cultists. Town. They have a whole town? Were you narrating? Me? No. Why? Is that bad? I worked with a guy who narrated once. Once. Oh, well, what's the name of this town? Where were you during the interview? I was there. I even took notes. How many shirt buttons did she have open? Four. Right, um... Wow, I don't remember any of this. Automatic writing? How do you think I got through college? Aha! Uh, sorry. No, but I didn't get the name. Just wrote town. Yep. What? The name was town. Apparently they're big on using the true names of things. Bet that's easy to find on a map. Wow. Just wow. It's so clean. And everyone looks kind of normal. What were you expecting? Black robes and facial tattoos? Um, yeah. May I help you? Um... All yours. Uh, right. Right. Where, um... Smooth. That should be your nickname, Smoothie. Scouting for a new smoothie bar. Our smoothie bar company, um... Groovy Smoothie is looking for new locations. Not too dusty. Wow, that would be lovely. But you'd have to use all natural ingredients. We're very back to nature here. I noticed. The all cotton clothes, the non-synthetic shoes and accessories. Metrosexual. Are you sure you just noticed? Or have you been doing your homework? Um, while I'd love to say I was bright enough... So would I. ...to look ahead, I really just noticed. That's still good. Why don't we walk? And you can tell me more about your smoothies? I'll just snap some pics for the folks back home. You two kids talk. Yeah, sure. I sure hope you were taking notes. She was too cute for your ears to work. If she's an example, I can't believe they're any kind of bad cult. Dickhead. What? Just addressing your thinking and... No, I'm not that kind of guy. She's sweet. I'm really not. Yeah, yeah. What did Miss Pretty Poison have to say? Truth. Push over? No, her name's Truth. They go in for... Those literal names, right. Yup. Anyway, I couldn't ask about kidnapped kids being in the smoothie business, but I think I got some good notes about the layout of the place. Where do they keep the kids? Well, they actually take in a lot of foster kids in this town. Apparently, they think of it as a holy cause, working with troubled children. Vulnerable and open to manipulation. Or already so messed up they can't complain. No! They work on healing their psychic wounds. Her words? Yes. Did she try and sell you on the religion? Uh, is it much further to the motel? Show me. It's research. Right, because they'd want a smoothie shop run by a non-believer. I actually told her that the company's policy was to bring in a manager, but hire everyone else locally. Then, if someone local was able to take over, the company would be happy to... McDoggies? What? Where you worked your way through college? Oh, yeah. Actually, um, let's just say I can't stand the smell of coffee anymore. Oh, ho. Thanks for coming along. Are you joking? This is how I get my best pictures. You go first. Right. This should be about where the orphanage office is. Shh. Just a bit closer. Utterly unruly. We had to use very stringent technique. Brainwashing. Listen now. Talk later. You have all my faith, Hygiene. You know how vital your part in this is. I wish I had a tape recorder. Hand, huh? It's already running, but it's so small. I'm gonna slap you. 
Right. I still plan to slap you. Um, okay. Go on. Uh-uh. Which end do More I... fun if you don't Just see it coming. Just get the window. Ow! Picks up everything. <laughs> okay. Running all over place, breaking things, and causing havoc. That would be more predictable. But Lucifer just sits and stares wrathfully. He's completely placid when you move him, and he won't respond Lucifer? to commands. Lucifer? What happened to the whole true names thing? Maybe he has to graduate first or something. Docility has its place. It is unnatural in a child this age. Perhaps it is time for extreme measures. Give me one more week before we subject him to that. There isn't time. We have to break him, Hygiene. Make him ours. Wow. Yeah, they've been at it for nearly an hour now. No, I mean the tape. It sounds horrible. Of course it does. Can you imagine the leg cramps you would get? The tape? Right. So, uh, we have to get that kid out of there. And you've been smoking what? Huh? We report the news. We don't make it. But how can we leave a poor defenseless child in the hands of those people? Easy. We drive away, file the story, and then come back in a year to file another story about how the kid is growing up in the cult. Then a five-year follow-up, a tenth anniversary. No, how about this? Intrepid reporter bravely rescues child from abductors. You can't say that's not a prime story. Hmm. Yes, but... But... How about this? Dumbass rookie news hound shot dead trying to break into secret cult enclave. Oh. What do I do here? Mingle. Try not to get carded more than once, Peach Fuzz. Shouldn't we be getting ready for the drive home? Local color. Trying to see what the nearby folks think of the people up in town. Really? And have price jello shooters. It is ladies' night. You're driving. Leona? Uh, Leo? Oh, crap. Smoothie Man! Oh, yeah. Yes. Truth. Nice to see you. Not the kind of place, um... Where you usually find much truth? Right. <laughs> yeah. Aren't you supposed to be all holy or something? I mean, darn it, I mean, not drinking and carousing or anything? Carousing? I didn't think anybody used that word anymore. Writers do. I mean, I write stuff. Like? Like? Stuff like what? Uh, greeting cards? Lots of carousing in greeting cards. I don't plan to write greeting cards forever, but why are you here? We believe in being as real as possible. Having fun is very real. And no, we don't drink, but we do dance and occasionally even sing karaoke. <gasps> Carry okay Thursdays. You're in no danger, Will Robinson. So you don't believe a sense of humor is wrong either? Nope. Just one more. Green's my favorite. One more and you'll be flat on the floor, babe. On top of you. <laughs> this floor is dirty. We got a perfectly nice carpet back at our hotel. We? Me and my partner. I don't swing that way. No, not like that. We work together. That's him over there with the redhead triplets hanging on his every word. The Viking? What kind of work do you do? Promise you won't tell. Crush my heart. That's uh, not your heart. Oh, yeah? I got hearts all over the place. Ooh. Well, we're, uh, we're bounty hunters. Like the guy on TV? Yeah, except I'm single, but yeah. You gonna apprehend someone? Something like that. But the only one I want to get my hands on tonight is you. Hmm. I gotta hit the cat box. Be back after I scratch. All right, I'll get you some more, uh, some more green. Oh, yeah. You're a very nice guy, Smoothie. It's Theo. We like names that describe people. I'm really not all that smooth. Feels like it from here. We're going. What? At least let us finish the stamp. Sorry, babe. Duty calls. Uh, smoothie duty. What? Revolutionary man. What was all that? 
We need to get out of here. Out of town? Out of the line of fire. It's a setup. What? Set up for what? You need to get out of here right now. What? I'm leaving. You can climb in or stand here. I thought I was supposed to drive! Where are we going? Back to headquarters. Why? Bounty hunters. Are you on their hot list? Not me. Damn it, kid. Think. What are the odds of the fugitive in this area? Anyone they might be hunting other than... Us? How can you be so dense? Oh, the kid! Bingo, smoothie. We need to go back. You're an idiot. I'm not. You're smitten, you weenie. I'm not. Yes. Yes. I'm in love with truth. Right. But I'm even more in love with the idea of catching bounty hunters in the act. No. Breaking into a religious compound. No. Maybe using extreme force, carrying off a kicking and screaming toddler. <sighs> you little shit. Well, deja my vu, Kimasabi. I think we beat them here. We have to warn truth. Hell to the no, as they say. You can play hero all you want after I get the shot. What if they have guns? Stop, drop, and roll. I'll be in the bushes. Shh! They're here! Why'd you do that? Nothing like waking up Minty Fresh. They're over there, far side of the... Oh, boy. What? It's so dark. Looks like three of them skulking across the lawn. Skulking? What's wrong with skulking? Truth would be amused. Fine, but later, all right. Oh, yeah. Skulking now. Can we, um, head them off at the pass? They're heading directly for the orphanage building. Oh, good. Um... <sighs> Over there. Right. Did you see them? Two of them went in. The third must be a rear guard. How can you be sure you saw three? Watching stuff. It's sort of my job. You're getting slapped again. Lights! They're gonna be running! I got it! Keep them quiet! They got me! No, 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 no! Bring me my child! We must do something! No, this is now in the hands of the Lord. I can only pray we've done enough. No way! This is just wrong! What? I'll be in the bushes. You're here? I thought you morons had bailed on me! Of course not! Morons? The hell you say? Very likely. You thought you could stop my dear little baby from fulfilling his destiny, eh? <laughs> from wiping you and your kind from the entire world. Him? Hand! What? Recorder! Oh! Yes! I did it! The whole nine yards! Did the rituals, wore the lederhosen, slept with the devil. My child is the Antichrist. Whoa, I didn't see that coming. And all your pathetic humanistic attempts to destroy him have come to naught. Mommy? He will grow into his destiny and rule Mommy. over all of creation. Mommy! Honey, Mommy's busy. And throw the entire world into chaos. Mommy! All right, Mommy's done now. Would she want a widow son of evil? Wanna see what I can do? Isn't it cute? What you gonna do, my baby Bezobuff? Gonna spin your head around? Gonna spit fire? No. Gonna rend these naughty nice people into tiny itsy bitsy bloody little chunks? No. What you gonna do then, my tiny tormentor? Show mommy. Okay. I... I try and remember. Oh, his first evil gesture! Anyone have a video phone? Why aren't you and your friends running? It wouldn't help. 
Why aren't you? Leona would kill me if I lost the scoop. Do you need help lacing your fingers together, honey? No. I can do it. Of course you can. Of course you can. There. Now, Mommy, watch. I'm watching, hon. Oh, if only your father could see you now. His father? Oh. See my hands? Yes. Knotted together like one big fist. Will you smite your enemies? What smite? I'll explain it later. Go on. Show me what you wanted to show me. And Honey, and now can you speak up? Just, just a little? Yeah. Mommy can't hear you. Listen. <laughs> this is the church. This um, is the steeple. Open the doors and 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 see all the people. What? See all the people, Mommy. My fingers are the people in the church. You! You've ruined him! Me? See the people in the church. Ah! All that hard work! The leader owes it! No! So Sister Hygiene took him back in for some milk and cookies and a round of kumbaya. Not bad for your first time out. Nice work, Leona. We'll have to touch up the perks, maybe give the kids some horn. Nah, put him on the mom. She earned it. Next, you'll want an artist rendition of Selena and Lederhosen convorting with Satan. Great idea. Very sexy. I like it. I want the copy on my desk first thing tomorrow. But, but, we, we just got back. Hello, Victoria's Secret? Come on. How can I get something done by tomorrow morning? Same way you got through college. Hey, Leo, you ever come up with a nickname for the kid here? Oh, yeah. You did? Smoothie. Smoothie Walsh. Oh, no way. I what? can't believe this. Oh, come on. come on. It's come perfect. On. Oh. So the potato shaped like Princess Di saved her life. Uh, how did that... How could you not notice the minute she took off her clothes? Oh, a hologram field? You never mentioned. <laughs> and that was when you saw his third eye? Are you sure that it was Dick Cheney? Hello! We have a rat boy sighting! Now that you know how to find us, don't be a stranger. We have enough of those already. Tonight's episode, Cultists Stole My Baby, was written by Julie Hoverson. In the episode, Theo Smoothie Walsh was played by Henry Mark, Leona Pope was Robin Keyes, Chief was Julie Hoverson, Selena Hempstead, the mother, was Karina Frederick, Truth was Melissa Pang. Justice was Jerry Bennett. Hygiene was Gwendolyn Jensen Woodard of Gypsy Audio. Bruce the Bounty Hunter was Joel Harvey. And his sidekick was Renaud LaBeouf. The child was Chandra Wade. And the four reporters at the opening and closing of the show were Brian, Dave, Randy, and Wes of Drunken Zombie Podcast, www.drunkenzombie.com. Thanks, guys. The 19 Nocturne Boulevard theme music is by Kevin McLeod of Incompetech.com. All other music in this episode was from Josh Woodward at www.joshwoodward.com. Sound effects were found on soundsnap.com and sonomic.com. Sound and mastering was done by Julie Hoverson. This was recorded at Neo Hoodoo Studios with the assistance of Ryan Hurst. All persons, places, and events in this story were fictitious or used in a fictitious manner and are not meant to reflect any persons, places, or things, living, dead, or undead. Questions? Comments? We would love to hear from you. Contact us at 19nocturne at live.com. That's 19nocturne. 
or check out our website at www.19nocturneboulevard.com. This presentation is copyright 2009 to Julie Hoverson and Reality Productions. Inside the glove box for a map when you are lost But there is not a road sign laid in peace to you Oh, I hear the words and nouns and verbs and conjugated forms But they just never seem to quite make up a sentence And the dictionary tells me where the words you say are from So let me file it under I for incoherence Oh, it's clear as mud and nearly twice as thick And it's out of reach and heavy as a brick Overgrown in motion and it's getting so much louder every day. What you saying? 